What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top five hidden features inside the 2019 Ram 1500. Now for this series, I search forums and search through videos and uh, the manual and try and find five things that you may not know about based on the promotional material or maybe by owning the car yourself. Um, things that make life a little easier. Now on the 1500, most of these features are actually inside. Um, I couldn't find very many interesting ones on the exterior of the vehicle, um, but let's go ahead and hop inside and take a look at those features. All right, guys, now the trim level that we're looking at is the limited, so it's pretty feature packed, but not all of these features are available on every trim level. But all that being said, let's take a look at number one. Now, number one has to do with the safety features. Now, as you can see, the entertainment center, it's massive, first of all, it's feature rich, second of all, and in turn, it has a massive amount of settings that you can tweak to your liking. Now, the one that I found interesting is the blind spot alert menu. Now, if you go into settings and you navigate to safety and driving assistance, and then you select blind spot alert, you can have it so you get lights, lights and a chime noise, or you can turn it off altogether if you don't want to. That's nice in itself, but you can also enable it for your trailer. So if you're pulling a trailer um, of any length up to 39 and a half feet, blind spot monitoring will work for that as well. So right now it's set on auto, but you can change it to max, um, which will, like I said, go to that 39 and a half foot range there. So that's really cool. Blind spot alerts for trailering. Let's move on to number two. Now, number two has to do with the parking brake. Now, this does have an electronic parking brake as most cars do these days, um, but to enable it, you'll just pull the little switch over here and that will engage. But let's turn that off. If you're driving at a low speed and let's say uh, you come to a stop. So here we're driving, 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 come to a stop here and I don't put it in park. I just leave it in drive and then I open the door that parking brake is going to automatically enable sticking the car in this spot. So let's say you want to, um, you're backing up in the driveway. I, it works in reverse as well. And you see something behind you. You want to stop the car real quick, hop out, grab it, move the thing out of the way, and then uh, hop back in and keep going. Don't even worry about putting it in park. Well, probably put it in park for safety reasons, but you don't need to. The car will uh, save you there. So door shut, going in reverse here. come to a stop and boom, open the door. Parking brake is on now and I can hop out, grab what I need, come back and keep going just by switching back over to drive, pushing the brake and pushing the release switch and the brake will turn off. Now let's move on to number three. Now number three has to do with the center console and some of the nice little features that they threw in there. Um, some as an homage to um, older RAMs and then some actually useful features that you may use if you're doing um, say construction um, or home improvement or things like that and you're using your truck. So first, if you lift up the second part of the center console, now there are two handles here. The first one will just get you access to this USB port and this kind of uh, felt area. But if you grab the second handle and lift up, you'll see that underneath you've got this kind of series of measurements. Um, it gives you um, trig equations, which uh, would have been helpful when I was in engineering school. Uh, you've got your Pythagorean theorem here. You've got a ruler. You've got um, a protractor here. And then you've got standard to metric uh, wrench conversions. So you've got this entire chart here that'll get you uh, your from inches to uh, millimeters um, for bolts and things like that. And you also have a fraction to decimal chart um, right over here on the left side. So some nice features there that I could see being really helpful if you need, you know, a certain you're trying to um, fix uh, your deck or something like that and you need a certain length bolt and you want to run to Lowe's or Home Depot and grab that and you're not sure you just you know pop it right there you can measure it real quick and then be on your way so a nice little touch they threw in there pretty helpful now if you look inside the console there's a little flap you can lift the flap up to kind of separate the sections and then you won't be able to uh, slide the center console back anymore um, but 
It's got a nice little touch on there. If you look, you can actually see all the different generations of the Ram 1500, um, all the way up until the 2019 one. So that's a really cool little feature that didn't have to put there, but they did. So that's really nice. Now, another nice little touch they put here on the center console is on the wireless charging pad. If you slide this back, you can take a look at it and right above where you'd slide your phone in for wireless charging, you have all one word Ram charger. Now that has multiple meanings, obviously. Um, you've got uh, the power option there where it's actually charging inside your RAM, but you also have that kind of callback to the old RAM charger models, um, which is just another nice touch. They didn't have to put in there, but they did. So it's kind of like an Easter egg, if you will, uh, for RAM. Now, the last one we're gonna be looking at is in the back and it has to do with number four as well. So let's go ahead and look in the back and take a look at th the end of three and four. Now, like I mentioned before, this is kind of the tail end of number three into number four. So for the tail end part of number three, if you lift up the handle right here on these bins, you've got a nice ruler right here. So again, if you have things stored down in here, you can either take those things out, measure them real quick here or real quick here. Just a nice little touch that again, they didn't have to add, but they did to make things more helpful. Now let's move on to number four. Now, number four are the RAM bins. Now these are not new by any means, uh, RAMs had these, um, but they're still kind of, if you've got your uh, floor mats here, they are kind of a hidden feature, um, maybe more of a literally hidden one. Um, but underneath, you've got some nice space here. Just grab this little handle, lift up, and then you've got access to the bins. Now they're not huge by any means, um, but you definitely can fit some tools. You could fit um, jumper cables, you could fit some, uh, tie downs for your trunk if you need to uh, move large object objects. They're just helpful for things like that. So there they are, the RAM bins inside the 2019 1500. Now let's look at number five. Now the fifth and final hidden feature we're gonna be looking at are the reclining rear seats. Now I also wanted to mention that these are ventilated rear seats, but this is the limited. So again, they're not available on every trim, but on this one they are and they recline. So how you're gonna do that is there's a handle underneath here. You're just gonna pull that, slide them out. They don't recline a lot, um, but obviously a little is better than none at all. So there you go, number five, the reclining rear seats. All right, guys, and there you have it, the top five hidden features inside the 2019 Ram 1500. If we missed one, tell us in the comments below. I'd love to hear what they are. Drop a like if you love the video, and don't forget to subscribe for more content on the 2019 Ram 1500 and all Ram models. We'll see you in the next one.